Let me first ask you about uh, the news we had out of Japan. They've hit a recession. Uh, things in Europe also don't look so great, although car sales numbers weren't terribly disappointing this morning. But in general, it looks like those two regions are hitting real rough spots and not able to pull themselves out. How does that affect Bentley sales? Well, we are still doing pretty good. Uh, as a matter of fact, we are heading for another record year in 2014. So we have fairly stable markets and uh, the whole pack is led by the U.S. U.S. is our biggest single market. Performance in the U.S. market is very good. Also, we see good success in continental Europe. Also, our home country in Great Britain is doing very well. Things are a little bit slowing down uh, in China right now due to the political situation and the bribery act and uh, with uh, the details that the investigations of customers, where do they get their money from. But uh, it's still playing on a high level. China is the second biggest market for us. And Japan, I think, uh, with the recession that's going on in Japan, that will not influence the Bentley sales because in the very upscale market, in the luxury performance segment, people always have enough money to purchase a new car. It's just a question of the offer. Right. The stock market is doing quite well there. It's just sort of the middle class getting squeezed. I guess it's the same story around the world. So luxury is your saving grace, uh, I suppose, except in the case of China. What's, what's going on there with the bribery scandal? Well, uh, in China, uh, customers get investigated if they buy a very luxurious product. So the government is checking where they got the money from, where, I made it, where they made it. And this slows down a little bit, uh, the market. But uh, in total, uh, we will sell more cars this year in China than we sold last year. So they also contribute to our record year. You have actually the most expensive products, I guess, in the entire Volkswagen group, at least under the umbrella of Bugatti. Um, is there any uh, need at all to go down a little bit? McLaren, for example, is making some slightly more affordable relative cars. Uh, is, th is that a possibility for Bugatti? Uh, for Bugatti, we have the premium position worldwide uh, in the automotive market. These are the most exclusive, luxurious products you can afford. And there will be no uh, drop down or a more, uh, let's say, affordable offer. If you are purchasing a Bugatti, you made it to the very top and there is no alternative. All right. So what about Bentley? I mean, uh, there's so much talk about the SUV uh, coming out next year. Um, and for other car companies that you've previously served, like Porsche, it's been a massive, massive hit, um, these big SUVs. Do you expect to reach down a little bit in price? Well, uh, interestingly, at present, uh, the top line of the SUV is uh, limited uh, around uh, 200,000 US dollars. And uh, if you have a product with everything inside, uh, that's what you can spend and uh, there is nothing above. We are going to solve this problem with the Bentley SUV. We are doing a product that brings our perception of the market, the luxury and the performance style to the SUV segment. For this reason, we are in the middle of the program right now. The test cars are out on the market. We already get the first reactions from customers that spotted a car, and we think that uh, with an SUV, uh, we can really enlarge our customer group. Uh, about 95% uh, of our customers already have another SUV in their garage. So we know uh, how old the car is, what it is, and we think we can make a good uh, section in the market in the future with an SUV offer. Uh, all this talk about super luxury makes me feel a little bit silly asking the gasoline question, but I've got to ask all car makers, is uh, the cheaper gas price having any effect on your business? Does it matter to a Bentley customer? Uh, basically not, but we are influenced by the overall political situation. And uh, our customers are achievers in life. They are business people, so they care about economical factors. And uh, of course, they know what's the gas price, what's, uh, uh, what costs uh, the electricity. But basically, when they're on a gas station, they always fill it up. <laughs> of, course, of course they, and they will with this as well, this grand convertible. Uh, it's only a concept now. When can I go out and get my first speeding ticket in this? Well, uh, we just launched this concept here in Los Angeles last night. It's uh, first off, we are 
uh, keen to get the reactions from our customers, from the media, uh, about the perception here in the U.S. We think in California we are right at the hot spot of the market. Uh, Pacific Highway, the lifestyle of the Californian uh, car owners, the car affinados that are around, will give us some good feedback to this car. We hope it will be positive, and uh, if we get the right feedback, it takes us about 12 months to bring it to life. All right, well, I love the shoulder lines. Thanks so much for spending some time with us. Really appreciate it. Wolfgang Gerheimer, CEO and President of Bentley, Bugatti, and in charge of the Motorsport Unit. So he is a very busy man, Betty.